Hi, this is Maria Sanchez. We're broadcasting live after the press conference that the Oxnard Unified High School District just had with Dr. Bob Carter. And I have with me John Kim. John, we met this morning. He's also been mentioned in some of the proceedings that have gone on with the $5.6 million worth of, I guess you would say, fraudulent billing. Yes. And John, why don't you give our viewers a little backstory about your involvement with this case? Well, uh, back in 2006, I started working for the school district, and I was the accountant for food services. Uh, there were some irregularities that I noticed that I brought to the concern of the school district. Uh, when did you bring those up? In late summer of 2006. Okay, so what was the position that you were hired for? I was a food, staff accountant in charge of food services. For the Oxford Unified School District? Yes. Okay. Uh, when I brought those issues up uh, and I tried to get more information on some of the procedures that were involved in the meal counting and the collection of data, I was told not to talk to anybody in food services anymore. A complaint was lodged against me, against me, and I was told by the Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources not to talk to anybody in food services. So is that the normal chain of command, that you would speak to somebody in food services, or you were speaking to them about some alleged irregularities that you wanted more clarification of? Well, it's it was my duty to do the accounting for food services, but without the ability to talk to anybody in food services, uh, I, I, I felt it was a very hostile environment to try to investigate things. Uh, Dr. Carter has uh, alluded to that things have changed there. I hope they have because uh, the, the, the climate was very bad back then. Uh, I talked to my supervisors, I talked to uh, my supervisor, supervisor, uh, because I, I believe this was in retaliation for me investigating the meal program. Uh, but nobody in the administration came to my defense. And, you know, I'm sad to think that out of all the people who committed the fraud, who looked the other way and didn't see the fraud, and those who condoned the fraud, nobody has been punished. The only one that's been punished is me. And when you say punished, what does that mean? I lost my job two years ago. Um, I went out on stress leave. And uh, I'm running out of COBRA. I've been unemployed for two years. Uh, my wife has MS and she's disabled. And it's left us scrambling to make ends meet. You know, and probably one of the worst economic climates that we've seen in recent years. And, you know, I only came forward because I suspected something that was a, a misuse of our taxpayer money. And for that, I'm on unpaid leave. So you discovered some irregularities in 06. You went to people to fight, find out about it. You were told not to. So what, what, how did you proceed in those that two years? You just kind of kept your head down and, and... Yeah, for the next year and a half, I just did what I was told because without access to the information, I couldn't verify that there was fraud. Uh, even when Linda Saddlemeyer says that it was obvious, it was... I mean, I had only been there for about seven months at that point, but it, it became pretty clear to me. I can't understand how all the administrators and everybody that had been there, and are probably a lot smarter than me, couldn't see the problem. You know, so I, I have to just assume that people were turning their heads. And can you speak about, because it mentions in the report that you had filed for some sort of retribution, not and I don't mean retaliation, but compensation, and that you were denied. Well, when I went out on stress leave, uh, the qualified medical examiner uh, validated my claim. 
and so I was awarded a, a settlement for workers' compensation. Uh, the, the, the suit was for retaliation against me for being the whistleblower. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, there's a statute in the California legal system that you can only file suit with a school district within six months of the action. Uh, but it took everybody so long to find the fraud that it took me two weeks to find. I mean, because at the end, I did ha get gain access and I was able to document two or three months of the fraud. Uh, but in two weeks, I found it. But it took everybody else two years to find it. Well, in that time, you can't prove retaliation for fraud that you can't prove. Mm -hmm. You know, so I had to prove that the fraud occurred, and then I could go after the retaliation, but the six months had elapsed. I went to the school district and asked their permission to sue them, and they said no. Uh, so I had to take that to, to court, and uh, the court sided with them that the time period had elapsed. So I'm on unpaid leave. Well, I want to thank you for taking your time to visit with us, and um, we would love to follow the story. I hope your wife's condition remains stable and that you can find employment. I do, too. Yeah. John Kim with Maria Sanchez. We are reporting live from the Oxnard Union High School District, and it is Monday, September 27th.